With the latest from News for Jax, I'm Joy Purdy. We are keeping our eye on a huge crash near Jacksonville International Airport. Sky 4 is over the scene that's at a standstill on I-95 southbound traffic mess for miles. Jacksonville Fire Rescue says there are 25 to 35 cars involved in this crash and backup, including some tractor trailers. Several people had to be extricated from their vehicles. There are 10 to 20 people hurt. Fortunately, we're told by JFRD, none are fatal injuries. Jacksonville Jaguars offensive coordinator Daryl Bevel has been named interim head coach after embattled head coach Urban Meyer was fired overnight. Meyer's ousting follows a disastrous 2-11 and season so far and countless off-the-field controversies. Owner Shad Khan announced the move just after midnight, saying it's the right time to move on. He said he is bitterly disappointed, and as he stated in October, regaining trust and respect was essential. He says regrettably that didn't happen. And just in, a CDC panel recommends that people get the Pfizer or Moderna COVID-19 vaccine over Johnson & Johnson's shot. Out of about 17 million people who have gotten the J&J &J vaccine in the U.S., nine of them have died from a rare condition that the shot likely caused. Researchers say that getting the J&J &J vaccine is still safer than contracting COVID-19 because you're more likely to become seriously sick or die from the disease. And Governor Ron DeSantis hopes a new program in Nassau County will help with a state and national truckage shortage. He announced more than $3.1 million will go to FSCJ's site in Yulee to create a commercial training center for truckers. The program is expected to have 120 graduates a year. Another $2 million will go to a training center in the Big Bend. You can always find the latest news on newsforjax.com. Have a great afternoon.